Hi everyone. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Today uh, is a special day for me because uh, I had completed uh, some milestones concerning my favorite uh, superhero team, X Men. As you have known through my previous post uh, that I made with, with one of the special variant covers that I got recently. Uh, it's something uh, of a very special uh, moment for me because as I've said, as I had mentioned in my post previously that yeah, I, I love Marvel Comics but X-Men hold a special place for me. And in that respect today, this vlog is dedicated to my X-Men first, if you will. Uh, you know, like for example, what was my first ever X-Men comic book? What was so special about it? Uh, and if there was a X Men milestone that happened uh, during uh, the years when I was collecting comic books, those if I had acquired those comic books, I'm gonna be sharing those with you as well. Uh, of course, this is only gonna be about X Men. Uh, I, it's not gonna be about Wolverine. It's not gonna be about X Factor. It's not gonna be about X Force. This is just for X Men only. And uh, I'm not gonna take much of your time. I'm gonna start out with the first ever issue that I had bought that was way back in 1987 and it it was a dream come true because Wolverine had always uh, attracted my attention uh, a friend of mine who used to live over here he was the one who actually introduced me to this character and from day one looking at the claws and the, the the brown and orange costume you know it's like th this guy was the ideal uh, superhero that I was looking for uh, back then we didn't know the difference between a superhero and an anti-hero but then again it didn't matter uh, I, in those days buying comic books especially when you're not going to the US it was a very difficult thing even in Jeddah uh, the comic books were there but they were first of all all in Arabic Second of all, the cover pages were colored, but the inside pages were black and white or not colored. So finally, in 1987, I was able to buy my first ever X-Men comic book. And here, I'm gonna be showing you the, the comic book itself, which I still have it preserved to this day. This is Uncanny X-Men number 212. The saga or the storyline is for the Mutant Massacre storyline that uh, has spanned not only in Uncanny X-Men but it continued in X-Factor, it continued in Thor, uh, as well as I think Fantastic Four. It was one of the major crossovers back in the 80s. And what I love about this is, is the cover has Wolverine. In a savage mode and what makes this comic book even better is that this comic has a fight between Wolverine and Sabretooth so this is the first ever comic book of X-Men that I bought all those years ago second one now younger audiences know Jim Lee uh, because of image comics because of what he has done for Batman uh, over the years but before he got his celebrity status he got his biggest bre breakthrough with Marvel Comics and he started to work with Chris Claremont the legendary X-Men writer for X-Men titles now the combination was an instant success because Jim Lee's art is remains to this day iconic Chris Claremont, Chris Claremont is the best ever writer the X-Men franchise could ever have. And then it was decided to relaunch the X-Men. It was decided to relaunch uh, the X-Men universe, starting with the X-Men and continuing with uh, new superhero teams like X-Force, uh, revamping Excalibur, uh, revamping X Factor, and in that process came X Men number one, the most 
short comic in the history of comic books. This is a world record that stands still to And for those who haven't noticed, the t-shirt that I'm wearing is actually a Jim Lee art for one of the issues for this particular X-Men title. Not this one in particular, but Jim Lee was able to do few issues for this. And unfortunately that partner partnership didn't last long and he moved on with Image Comics. But this is X-Men number one and it doesn't finish there. This is a gatefold cover. be really careful with this because this is the first print so you have this entire gatefold cover and then it does an angle inside of this cover is a vertical poster of the entire X-Men universe that includes X-Factor, X-Force, Excalibur, you name it. Now, what has been my recent, now what has been my recent achievement? You guys remember my uh, few, uh, last post that I did on an X-Men comic book which was written by Jonathan Hickman and the art was done by uh, Lionel Francis Yu but now I'm going to be sharing with you the original cover of X-Men number one relaunched this year by the greats Jonathan Hickman and Lionel Francis Yu and I really can't thank uh, enough Marvel Editor-in-Chief C.B. Sibelsky for assembling such a phenomenal team because Jonathan Hickman is known for his work for Fantastic Four and an awesome writer. He also wrote uh, The Brotherhood of S.H.I.E.L.D. A lot of great works. And like those works, his work on X-Men has proven to be mind-blowing. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you X-Men number one. The original cover, this original cover is done by Lionel Francis Yu, the same artist who has done the artwork for inside pages of this particular title. And Lionel Francis Yu is not a new artist. He has been there with the Marvel Universe since the early 2000s. He was one of he was one of those talents that joined the company along with the likes of Paul Jenkins, Brian Michael Bendis, Alex Maleev, uh, Michael Gados. He, he was also one of them. And here it is, X-Men number one. Hope you like my, hope you like this vlog. Please like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel and have a great weekend. Thank you very much for watching.